Williamsburg, we all know, is really old, and that's part of its charm. You might have come to Williamsburg on your eighth grade field trip, but it's a whole new Williamsburg. Today, there's a really cosmopolitan, chic, sophisticated side that you don't think of. My name is Annie Fitzsimmons. I am National Geographic's Urban Insider. I'm excited during this trip to find a new side to this very old town. My first stop is this beautiful art show in Yorktown. It's the first of its kind, and they're showcasing over 40 regional artists. Tell me a little bit about this, this artwork. This is stuff that I would actually hang in my apartment. This is Yorktown Pub. How many nights have you spent here at the pub? <laughs> is this sort of... That I remember? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like since you've, you've grown up in the area, yeah. like what's the most surprising thing to you about living here? Because everyone thinks of the history. You know, it's 6,000 miles, Chesapeake Bay shoreline. So we're at York River State Park right now. Uh, you know, you can go to a spa and get a massage, but you can also come out and use your muscle and sort of get out on the water and, and get to enjoy that nature for yourself. It's much better than a treadmill. The food scene is apparently awesome with big city chefs moving into small town Williamsburg. I'm going to sit down with you. This is our number one seller, which is Brussels sprouts, which is the top 50 things to eat in Virginia. Cabernet Franc, uh, Merlot. We have a little bit of Malbec. The wines are really doing well. In all my travels throughout the world, I haven't found some place quite like Williamsburg that has the history, that draws people in, um, but it keeps people here because of everything else. It's a great time to be here.